Hi, everybody. Day 29. Can we be allies? Carmen Ramirez explains the history of Afro-Latin Americans and the silent racism that plagues them even today. Is it possible for African Americans, Afro-Latinos or Latinas, and Latinos, Latinas, to become allies in the struggle against anti-Blackness? She asks. Their experiences may be akin. They can be allies and walk firmly together as other ethnicities and cultures join in. In unity, there is strength. I want to clarify that she says that a unity is needed among European descendants. African-Americans, all Latinas, Latinas, Asians, Middle Eastern, and Indigenous peoples in order to exterminate the entire neoliberal world order. We all need to work together. But for the purpose of the short essay that, that uh, this reflector talks about, um, she's going to argue that there is a historical commonality between African-Americans and afro Latinos that could unite them in a fight against injustice and oppression. As part of your 40 days of engagement on anti-racism journey, read Ramirez's reflection at the link that we've provided and go deeper into the today's faith reflection, which is creator God, grant us the wisdom to love, grant us the wisdom and love to work against anti-blackness. Today's children's activity, talk about what it means to be an ally. Today's group commitment, questions to discuss together. Today's advocacy, be an ally by choosing to support organizations that provide services to BIPOC communities. All right. Have fun with that one. We'll see you tomorrow.